everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add my briefcase to Windows 10. To give you a little insight on this, my briefcase was in Windows from 95, 98, 2000, XP, and 7. It's sort of still in there, it's just that they um, hit it. So what I did is last night I went online and I was trying to see if you could re-add it and somebody had already figured it out and got the two registry keys. So if I open that folder over there, you're going to see two registry keys. You're going to, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, you're going to see add briefcase to new context menu, remove briefcase from new context menu. What this was is when you right click, these, I'm talking the older version, and you go to new, if you notice, you have bitmap image, contact, rich text document, which is Word. Microsoft Word and WordPad, text document, same thing, Windows Live Call, and you have compressed zip folder. Now, if you're using Windows 98, you would have something called My Briefcase. So, so I downloaded these, and we're going to see if they work. So, I want to add it, so I'm going to click, right? So, the user account control is going to come up and say, hey, what is this? So now we click yes. Now, this is where you have to be extremely careful. It says adding information can unintentionally change the delete values, cause components to stop working correctly. If you do not trust the source of it, this information and see users, administrator, desktop, my briefcase, add briefcase to new context menu reg, do not add it to the registry. So even Windows will tell you if you don't trust it, do not add it. Now, I just want to put this out there. I don't know how this computer is going to react to this. So, if you do this, be warned that you could potentially mess up your system. So what I would do is back it up and do what you need to do to do that. So, it says, do I want to continue? Yes. All right, so the key was added. So now, if I go to new, I'll probably have to restart it. So sometimes when you add a new registry key, you you have to restart the system. So we're going to see if this works. Sorry for the light on the camera. It's a uh, twelve eighteen p.m. where I'm at right now.
So now since I restarted the computer, it should work now. This computer does take a little bit of time to boot up. Now, if this works, I am going to try it on a Windows 11 installation and see if that works. Unfortunately, this computer is a little slow, even though I added memory to it. Ah, there we go. This is, well, it's briefcase. I'm using the old term when I say my briefcase. That is a mid-90s thing. So let's try creating one. There we go. So that is the icon for briefcase. So I'm just going to name it test. Now, with the registry, the reason why you have to restart the machine is because Windows is using that. And the problem is, it's a, it's it, when you work in an office and your boss asks you to update, let's say everything's handwritten, a note or something. right? So what you do is basically you take the old one out it put a new one in. So that's the equivalent of what's happening when you restart the computer. So we're going to open the briefcase. Now here's the cool thing about this. What my briefca briefcase was used for was to synchronize stuff. When you create a network drive, you could do it with a folder or way back when I could think you could have a briefcase which creates a line between two computers you put it in there and it moves the files it's like take a lawyer for example they have a briefcase so when they go to court they take the briefcase the streets or the network the courthouse is another computer basically and then they open it up and then they show the boss, which is the judge, hey, this is what we have. So that's what you are doing with this. All right, so I'm not going to sync anything right now. This is just to see how it works. So what's nice is this is still here, but what everybody does now is they use the regular folders, then they create a network drive and do that. But that was what my briefcase was used for. So, and then what I'll do is I could drop folder, just like a regular folder, I could just drop files in there. And there we go. So what I'm, I'm gonna try this on a Windows 11 installation at some point. So, anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.